<laughs> well, we are continuing with our matches here at Calm Break. Of course, we're still in the pools out here. Uh, two days of pools with 690 players in the tournament. Of course, that's going to be how it is. But Aaron Dembers going up against PFGC. Chi Lover. Chi Lover? Chi Lover. I'm, I'm assuming he's a Persona fan. Okay. Chi A, Chi Satanaka? Maybe. I don't know. Chie or maybe a. he's a Chicago E Lover. Shy E Lover? I don't know. Shy E Lover. We'll, we'll find it. We'll find he's out. He's got E Love for Chicago. Yeah. I have mad E Love for the homies. <laughs> Greg Not Mark. the real. Oh stuff. no! It's a, he's wearing a Chiang shirt. I did, okay, I, 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 that's him. All right. He is definitely he is definitely a persona fan. Nice. You nailed it. I looked at him. <laughs> you look. At him. I, usually, I don't look into their eyes, but this time I saw the shirt. I was like, okay, that that is a Chie fan. You would like Chie because Chie uh, emulates the late great Bruce Lee in some aspect. Who? In okay. the way she fights. <laughs> All right, law players. Never mind. Uh, oh, I mean, I, you would think he's a. All right. <laughs> Well, well, Dirty well. Marduk. <laughs> Dirty Marduk, Marduk and, and Loverless. All right, I got you covered. <laughs> wow. What are what is that controller? The orange one they have there. I didn't notice it. Uh, the orange one. The the, the pad. pad? Yeah. The pad. I, I can't I can't tell from this small angle, but if they throw them on the big screen, we'll be able to decipher. You know, I'm a controller well, guy, right? That's true. Anyways, we're gonna go right into this Mishima Dojo. Chie Lover getting beat up for picking Marduk. As they should. The trade. We did a lot of Marduk oh. winning today, though. Oh. Hey. I mean, what, I feel like Marduk has a winning percentage. John on the Hammer. character select screen. <laughs> we saw three Marduk in the last set pool. Oh, ha Hammer Soldier's here? John Hammer, he won. He made it out of Winterside. Beast nice. Infection, Sammy, Fun. also made out with Marduk as well. They'll be playing each other with Marduk, Marduk. Wait, Beast Infection, does he usually use uh, Steve? Steve and Lisa, yeah. but no, he's using Marduk now, too. Man. It's a disease. Everyone's catching it. Here we go, pushing towards the wall. Oh, yo. 2 1 Fofo. The Fofo. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, I like that nice compact combo. Uh, Two throw. Eat that throw, though. No break. Aaron Dembers, round two rounds straight. Going on a speed run here. The trades. These guys are both pressing. They are swinging right now. And really, oh my goodness, beautiful whip punish there with a the down forward one. I was going to say, these first games out of the pools, it seems like people take it slow and get beat up, and then next game's it's over. Oh, into man. the mount. Uh-huh. Then what's Oki, though? What are you going to do? Down four? Down three. Yeah, rage mode now, though, for Jake yeah. Kazama. Do we get a rage up to throw the work? It's smart stuff. Go back to what works. Yeah, he's not breaking those. Oh! oh okay, you have to lunch. Lunch. Doesn't matter. Gets the mid anyway. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Still in it. You could tell he's not a Marta player originally because he did wall standing four. Who does it? All right. Yeah. yeah. But you don't use wall standing four. It's a launcher point for most characters yeah. anyway. I mean, for him, I mean, you use wall standing one usually for the wall standing quick attack, right? So interesting. Oh, no. That is not a punish either. Oh, my goodness. Something's wrong with this controller, guys. Uh, it's a problem. Oh, and he threw out the raw dog down toward one. Oh, and no. He, he got hit with the, the, the flappy <laughs> flap kick. <laughs> The, the flappy, flappy bird, flap. the flappy bird kick. And that was a very committed duck. He was really looking for a low parry. Yeah, that's just an orange dual shock. I think that might be the group. Okay. Oh no, it's not. It's it's a red one. It's just the lighting is, is throwing see, me off. I see. The orange one has blue analog sticks. Yeah, that levelless controller is crazy. Oh, that's Empress from Arcade Parts, our, oh, okay. uh, Paradise Arcade Shop. Yeah, I haven't tried one like that where, you know, one of the super thin ones. Yeah, actually um, that one's interesting because it's, it's only using thin, right? the in, it, it's using the inner part, not the outer rim of the solid uh, buttons of the 30 millimeters. Oh. So it's just using the, the actual, the, the push button itself, yeah, not, yeah. The, not the ring. Because, you know, most of them are put in like normal arcade rings, right. uh, buttons are put in. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Have you tried it? Like, how does that feel? I, I have one, yeah, yeah. How does that feel with the buttons I mean, without the ring around it? Well, actually it feels very different because... Yeah. You are using bigger buttons, usually for leverless controllers, using 24 millimeter buttons, oh, right? I see, I see, I and see. And then the, the the jump or the up button is usually a 30 millimeter, right? So it, it's very different in feel, but I mean, it's just one of those things you gotta get used to. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I all like these new novel things, you have you to gotta get, get used, used to it, it anyway, yeah. right? But I mean, I feel like when I tried, some, you should do some streams. I've tried, tried hitbox. I, okay. I have one, and so the thing is, like, the buttons do feel small to me. So yeah. I am curious about that. Oh, then you might like that. Yeah, if you maybe. you want more traditional bigger buttons, I feel like you excel in. Because you're a PC gamer in YSD. Maybe. Yeah. Because I know a lot of Korean players prefer uh, keyboard as well. That's like the culture. Yeah, I heard Ranked you only switched to it because he was lazy to care about an arcade scene. I also asked him if it was easy for him to transition. He said it was natural for him. Yeah. I was like, you are crazy. Super wild. You panda players. 
Anyways, going right into it. Aaron Denver is not skipping a beat. We are in the salt flats of Bolivia. Is that what this is? <laughs> if you know, we were in Bolivia. Did you go visit? Our, we really wanted to go, but it was eight hours away. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, it, it would have been one of those things. It would have been a lot. We wouldn't have been able to do the, the broadcast if we went. <laughs> Oh, okay. wow. Had the duck there, but didn't really get oh, a punch again. He's blocking a lot of these lows, right? He's ducking under a lot of these things, but he's not taking advantage of the... Oh, okay. Jeez Second Louise. hit. White, don't go back up. Yeah. You have to keep the press. And if you are going to back Round up, throw out a tackle or the Marduk Rage drive. Yeah, and, and that's a thing we haven't seen. Is the tackle hasn't been coming to play. No Python explosion. None of the nasty mix up stuff. And he has been. Wow, he's just going for the low kicks. Okay. He's, he's learned today. He's going to learn today. All right, LLRK, the follow-up here is not going to kill, but one more hit can do it. Aaron Dembers. He's in control right oh. now and closes it out 2-0. to Going to be staying on the winner's side, I think, as we get started here in our pools. Oh, yeah. What time is it, right? like noon? It is uh, yeah, noon like time. Noon Central Standard Time is about 12.15 here. Again, if you guys are all tuning in, thanks for watching here. It's going to be a fun weekend. We're still in pool play. Later on today, we'll be getting towards uh, the preliminary rounds of, I believe, it's top 256. Top 128. Or 128. Okay, 